wonder. What do you wonder, Wonder Cat? I wonder, why can't I fly like a bird? Why can't you fly like a bird? Well, if you're curious enough, you can find out. Well, I was curious. I know that birds have wings. Birds use their wings to fly. And then I looked around. I saw that insects that fly have wings too. I found out that everything that flies has wings. So I made wings for myself. But they didn't help. I still can't fly. Why can't I fly like a bird? Because of the way your body is put together. It's not just the wings that let a bird fly. It's the way its whole body is made. But flying looks like so much fun. Well, it is a fun way of moving around. And birds seem to enjoy it. But flying is important to birds for other reasons. It is? Yes. Be curious. See if you can discover how flying helps birds. Well, it looks like that bird flew up into that tree to eat some seeds. And it looks like that bird must have flown over there to eat some seeds, too. And that woodpecker had to fly to get to that tree trunk. Looks like it's getting insects from the bark. And it looks like that other bird just flew down to eat a worm. I see. Flying helps birds get food. Yes. Flying is just a way of moving. And being able to move is an important way of getting food. Bees fly from flower to flower and collect nectar and pollen. They use them for food. Dragonflies fly around and catch other insects that they eat. All animals need food, but all animals don't need wings to get it. Ants, for instance, they just walk. I know that. And animals like me just have legs that let them move and get food. Yes, some animals hop, and some animals walk. But some slither along, and some swim. That's right. Animals move in different ways to help them get food. Hey, look. The little fish are getting away from the big one. It looks like swimming helps a fish get food, but it also helps a fish keep from being food, doesn't it? That's right. I can see that some animals protect themselves by getting away. And being able to move helps them do it. Good observation. Moving away from danger is a way that many animals protect themselves. But there are other ways. Look at that animal. What animal? I don't see any... Oh, now I do. Wow. Being hard to see must protect an animal, too. Many animals have shapes or colors and patterns that help make them hard to see. But I see an animal that doesn't have to hide to protect itself. A turtle. It carries its protection with it, its shell. A skunk. I know how a skunk protects itself with its awful smell. We must have scared it. Whew. That smell makes me want to stay away from it, far away. Yes. When you breathe, you smell the skunk's protection. It's in the air. I'm just going to hold my breath as long as I can. <gasps> but not long enough. I guess I have to breathe. Phew! Yes, you and the skunk both need to breathe because your bodies need oxygen. Oxygen is part of the air we breathe. You can feel air fill your lungs when you breathe in. <sighs> That's right. It smells a lot better now. But all animals don't need lungs to take oxygen from the air. Worms take in oxygen through their skins. All animals that live in the air get oxygen from it and have to hold their breasts when they go underwater. Then I guess fish are lucky. They don't live in air, so they don't have to hold their breath when a skunk protects itself. But they still need oxygen. A fish gets oxygen from the water it lives in. It takes water in through its mouth. Inside the body, the water passes over special parts called gills and then leaves the fish's body through openings on the side of its head. 
gills help fish take oxygen from the water. Some animals that live in the ocean, like seals and porpoises and whales, don't have gills. They aren't fish. They have lungs as you do. And so, to get the oxygen they need, they have to come up for air once in a while. If I could get oxygen from water, then I wouldn't be bothered by a skunk smell. All I can use water for is drinking, and I sure get thirsty for it. I know that other animals that live in air get thirsty too. But do all animals need water? Yes, they all do. Some animals drink water, as you do. But some animals live in places like the desert, where there usually isn't water for drinking. But they must get water from somewhere. Watch these desert animals, and you might find out another way of getting water. They're eating some kind of fruit, I guess. Looks juicy. Say, is there water in that juice? Yes. All animals get some water from the food they eat, but some animals get most of their water that way. Animals get water in different ways, but they all need it. Well, even if I can't fly, I'm a lot more like a bird than I thought. We both need food, oxygen, and water. And we protect ourselves. We're a lot alike. You're even more like a bird than you think. I am? Yes. Look down there. Oh, a skeleton. A bird skeleton. That's right. A bird skeleton is different from the skeletons of other animals. But there is one important way in which they're all alike. All these skeletons have backbones. A backbone is that row of bones down the animal's back. Birds have backbones, and you have a backbone, too. I can feel it. So is that another way all animals are alike? Not all animals. Birds have backbones, but worms are animals and they don't. Fish have backbones, but snails are animals and they don't. Rabbits have backbones, but butterflies are animals and they don't. You see, all animals can be divided into just two kinds, animals that have backbones and animals that don't. And then, in each of these two groups, animals that are alike in other important ways are put into smaller groups. For instance, birds are all in one group of animals with backbones called... Birds? That's right. All birds have feathers and wings and only two legs. And fish are all in one group of animals with backbones... Called fish. Yes, that's right. Fish have gills and scales and fins. I'm sure I'm not in a group with birds or with fish. I'm a cat. Am I in a group called cats? Well, cats and cat-like animals belong to a bigger group called mammals. Many different kinds of animals besides cats are part of the mammal group. Mammals are alike in certain ways, just like animals in other groups are. Mammals have hair or fur. Like I have and have four legs, or two legs and two arms. And baby mammals drink milk from their mother's body. So even though all animals aren't mammals like I am, and all animals don't have a backbone like I do, all animals are alike in important ways. They need food and oxygen and water, and they protect themselves. And even if a butterfly and other insects can fly, I'm more like a bird than they are, because I have a backbone. Only... Only what, Wondercat? Only... I still wish I could fly. 